anterolateral approach to the hip. Watson Jones approach. Preliminary remarks. The anterolateral approach, Watson Jones, to the proximal femur, through the interval between lati and tensor fascia lata, provides somewhat limited access to the hip joint along with the lateral proximal femur. With well positioned retractors and adequate soft tissue releases, it is possible to perform open reduction of displaced femoral neck fractures, and some femoral head fractures. A more medial approach to the hip joint, iliofemoral or Smith Peterson, medial to the tensor fascia lata, may improve access to the femoral head and neck, but for fixation of the neck with a sliding hip screw, a separate lateral incision will be required. Photograph Sir Reginald Watson Jones, FRCS, born Reginald Watson Jones, the 4th of March 1902, died in the 9th of August 1972, was a prominent English orthopedic surgeon. Skin incision. Start the slightly anteriorly curved skin incision about 7 to 10 centimeters proximal of the lateral part of the greater trochanter, directed towards the tubercle of the iliac crest, the posterior landmark of tensor facial at our origin. Distally, the incision extends along the femur about 10 cm below the greater trochanter. Incision of fascia latar. Expose the fascia latar sharply. Incise the fascia latar over the femur and extend this incision proximally along the posterior border of the tensor fascia latar. Deep surgical dissection. With the greater trochanter and the gluteus medius muscle exposed, retract the tensor fascia lat anteriorly and the gluteus medius muscle posteriorly. Expose the interval between the gluteus medius and the tensor fascia latar and extend it proximally over the hip joint. This can be best done by blunt dissection. Be aware of vessels running across this interval. They require ligation or cautery. Exposure of hip capsule. Place a Hohmann retractor into the bone proximal to the hip capsule. Additional retractors anteriorly and posteriorly will open the dissected interval. External rotation of the leg improves access to the hip capsule. Anterior release of vastus lateralis. The origin of the vastus lateralis muscle should be released from the anterior inferior trochanteric region to expose the underlying hip capsule. Retract the muscle inferiorly. Adjust the retractors as necessary in debride periarticular fat to expose the hip capsule. Opening of the joint capsule. Make a T-shaped incision in the capsule. Opening of the joint capsule. And place two retraction sutures, anteriorly and posteriorly. Protect the acetabular labrum. This capsulotomy shows the anterior femoral head and neck. Lateral traction and repositioning of the leg can improve visualization. The incision can be extended distally over the proximal vastus lateralis to allow insertion of screws or dynamic hip screw for femoral neck fracture fixation. Wound closure. Perform a meticulous debridement of all soft tissues before starting wound closure. Remove necrotic tissue and irrigate the entire wound to decrease the risk of periarticular ossification. Insert suction drains if desired. Close the fascia latar incision with interrupted sutures. Close the subcutaneous tissue and skin as desired. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.